Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Reed and Spruth here. Now I am actually doing a little bit of a tutorial video. I've done these in the past when I find something's broken and there's not a ton of information online on how to fix it. So what I'm doing here is I'm just looking and I'm seeing if there's a way to make the CPU usage on Rainbow Six lower than what it normally is. Now if you notice here I have Rainbow Six top here is 21.7 now this is without it running in the game this is just running in the background right now so basically when in gameplay I've noticed that when streaming it will say high bandwidth used or not high bandwidth high CPU usage used can affect quality of the stream which has happened with myself and one of my other friends who streams as well and what happens is that it causes the stream to start to lag because the CPU usage gets basically a bottleneck and it doesn't encode the frames like it should. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Hopefully it won't do it in this video. It won't have that issue, but it might. But I'll show you what happens with, when this happens So, uh, or and how high the CPU usage goes. So let me just run this benchmark and it should demonstrate what's going on. If the benchmark loads there we go Now, if you noticed during that, now I am running at, you see it run at, you know, really high frames, 317 max, you know, start with 207 max, like it, it started pretty, pretty good. Uh, but the, the CPU usage, and this is with nothing else really running in the background, is, I mean, there's little things, but nothing that should be taking up that much, uh, was running at about 71 at the highest. Now, what I found out was that the V-Sync might be the problem. So most monitors are set to 60 hertz, which means about 60 frames a second is what you're aiming for. And because it's running, the game is running at about 120 or more frames a second, it can cause that huge CPU spike. So if we turn it to one frame, apply, what one frame does basically, it says on the side, it syncs it to your monitor's refresh rate. And so we'll try one frame and then we'll try two frame, which two frame it does the half of what your monitor's frame rate is. So this can cause a little bit of input lag. So if you're experiencing this issue, you may want to turn Vink Sync off after that. But let us try this benchmark again and see if it loads up. See, and so when you're looking at now it's an average of 60 frames a second, which should make sense because it's ref my refresh rate on the monitor. But if you noticed with the CPU usage, it didn't really go above 5560. Like it was, it was pretty low there considering the other one was using up 71% of the CPU. So especially since I have a decent enough uh, 
I have a pretty, de I have a 4790, which is a pretty decent processor at the time of this video being made. Uh, so if you have a lower end processor, this is really going to help. Now let's, I haven't actually tried this, but let's try two frame and just see what the CPU usage looks like. And of course, this is going to be 30 frames a second, so it's not going to look great, but uh, it'll just illustrate a point. So that's, that illustrates a point pretty well is that the, if you notice the CPU usage without vSync was at in the 70s with vSync on for one frame, which is to your monitor's refresh rate, that made the CPU usage go down. And then if you put on two frame, it actually made it go down even further. I'm going to keep it on one frame because 60 frames a second is kind of what you're wanting to go for. But if you're having problems with your CPU usage going really, really high in Rainbow Six Siege, you may want to turn on the refresh rate. I'm sorry, turn on VSync, and that will uh, hopefully eliminate some of those issues you're having. Thanks for watching. Uh, if this helps you out, give it a thumbs up. And if it doesn't, uh, please still give it a thumbs up because I tried. Thanks. Bye.